1988, I was in Turkey. I had left Iran to find refuge somewhere in this globe. It was a dark, horrifying time during the 80s in Iran. It was a period of fear, persecution, street searches, mass arrests, and mass executions. In the dark of the night, I arrived at the Turkey office of the UN Refugee Agency in Ankara. A long line of refugees who were sleeping on the street all night. Finally, the period of nightmare was over. I promised to myself that I would return to this place and will become the voice of the refugees. Since the presidential election of 2009, there's been a new wave of the Iranian refugees in Turkey and Iraq. The young people who took to the streets in Iran to protest against their stolen votes and were faced with detention, rape, torture and execution. They raped my brother in Kahrizek prison. They put my sister's head in the toilet. They beat my journalist colleague to death. They deprived my imprisoned colleague classmate from any visitation. They hanged my teacher. They killed Dr. Poor and Johnny for exposing the crimes they had committed in Kahrizek prison and they killed many others Ramine Gahramani, Ahmed Nejati Karagar, Milad Yazam Sam, Khabar Sabzadi, Saeed Abbas, Muhammad Hussain Feis, Ali Ashkaliyan, Ezdir Sarhadi Erdas, Mustafa Kadir Rajapur, Fahri Nawazam, Mahmoud Sattar Basam, They instituted the reign of terror, which forced many to flee the country overnight, seeking refuge around the world. Your brother has been seeking refugee status from the UN in Turkey for the past seven months. Your sister has been marooned in this country for the past 40 months. Your student friend spending long hours in front of UN refugees office in Ankara. Your activist friend has been waiting and waiting with a small child for a flight out of Turkey for the past 18 months. And the conditions in Turkey are hard. The bruised bodies who escaped imprisonment at the hands of the Islamic Republic are now left waiting in Turkey without money, without a place, without a clear fate. Many have entered Turkey illegally. According to official statistics, there are 4,000 Iranian refugees in Turkey anxiously waiting. We want to become the voice of these refugees the names of many of whom we don't even know. We want to tell their stories in a documentary. You can be a part of this project by helping us to realize it. Only with your help, we can document the injustice that is going on in Iran. Help human rights in Iran. <laughs>